Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we are going to discuss the fifth HOTS numerical of algebra. So let us begin. The problem says that if m times the mth term of an AP is equal to n times its nth term, then we have to show that m plus nth term of an AP is 0. So we have been given m times the mth term. So m term is actually tm and we have to have its m times. So m into tm is equal to n times its nth term. So n times which is n into nth term which is tn. So this is what we have been given and what we have to prove is that m plus nth term that is t of m plus n is actually equal to 0. So let us begin with the formula of Tn which is a plus n minus 1 into d. Now we shall begin with what has been given to us. We have been given that m into Tm is equal to n into Tn. So let us start. So m into Tm, Tm will be a plus m minus 1 into d so that will be tm is equal to n into tn tn will be a plus n minus 1 into d now let us open this bracket so this will be m a plus m into m minus 1 into d is equal to n a plus n into n minus 1 into d let us take everything on the left hand side. So we will be having ma. Let us take this on the left hand side. So that will be minus na plus this one which is m of m minus 1 into d. Let us take this term to the left. So it will be minus n times n minus 1 into d. On the right hand side we will be left with nothing. So it will be 0. Now over here you can see that a is common. So let us take a common. We will have m minus n. And over here if you can see d is common. So let us take d common and we will have m into m minus 1 minus n into n minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this will be as it is which is a into m minus n plus d. Let us open the bracket inside. So m into m will become m square. m into minus 1 will be minus m minus n into n will be minus n square and minus n into minus 1 which will be plus n the whole bracket equal to 0. So that is a times m minus n plus d times. What we should do here is let us let us take m square minus n square together. So it will be m square minus n square. Now this is minus m and this is plus n. Now here as you can see we are having m square minus n square so we can apply the formula for a square minus b square which is a plus b into a minus b so let us apply this formula over here so we will be having a times m minus n plus d times m square minus n square will be written as m plus n into m minus n and here let us take minus common so we will have minus common and inside the bracket we will have m minus n so it will be m minus n the whole bracket equal to 0 as you can see there is m minus n common over here so it will be a times m minus n plus d times m minus n is common and inside the bracket we will be having this term which is m plus n and this complete term is gone so we'll be having only minus 1 over here that is equal to 0. Now if you can see that m minus n is common in both the terms so we will be having m minus n and here we will be having a plus d times this m minus n is gone so here we are left with m plus n minus 1 the whole bracket is equal to 0. So now we are having that the product of two terms is 0. So either the first term m minus n is 0 or the second term which is a plus d into 
m plus n minus 1 is equal to 0. So, here we will be having that m is equal to n, but here the m and n are different terms. So, but m cannot be equal to n. So, finally, we will be having that this a plus d times m plus n minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is what we have derived from what has been given to us. Now, we have to prove that t of m plus n is 0. So, let us begin with the LHS. The LHS is t of m plus n. Now, we have the formula of tn as a plus n minus 1 d. In place of n, we, we have to write m plus n. So, it will be a plus in place of n, we should have m plus n, m plus n minus 1, the whole into d. But if you see, this term is exactly same as this term. So, that is equal to 0, which is equal to the RHS. So, we are having that LHS is equal to RHS. So, we have finally proved that if m times the mth term is equal to n times the nth term, Therefore, we will be having that t of m plus n, the m plus nth term will be equal to 0. Thank you very much.